had a robust discussion on strengthening Azimio and its constituent parties. The coalition partners have been able to agree on fundamental strategies and tactical positions. We agreed that the coalition is only as strong as its constituent parties. The summit, therefore, reaffirmed its commitment to the renewal and strengthening of all the constituent parties through various activities, including members' recruitment drives, delegates' conferences, PGs and NEC meetings. All constituent parties have committed to pursuing a common program of action that addresses the challenges the country is going through and that also help to advance and defend the gains of democracy. Azimio remains one and is here to stay, committed to shared values that include accountability, integrity, public participation, good governance, respect for the constitution and rule of law, social justice and non-discrimination. On public litigation, the summit agrees that the cases coming up under public interest litigation address fundamental concerns in which Kenyans feel overlooked, mistreated and ignored by a regime steeped in impunity and unilateral actions. Some of the cases include the Jubilee Party case and the ruling by the Speaker of the National Assembly forming multiple parliamentary groups within this particular political party, that is Jubilee. This is a real threat to the foundations of our attempts to create a strong multi-party democracy. It threatens to return Kenya to a single party era. The housing levy is a threat to livelihoods and incomes in the same way the plan to unilaterally sell public assets without the participation of the owners who are the people of Kenya. We will stand in solidarity with the petitioners in the public interest litigation cases on these issues. Azimio stands for the rule of law and supports the need for an independent and professional judiciary. Subsequently, we demand that the Kenya Kwanzaa regime must keep its hands off the judiciary. We take note of the support expressed by the United States government for the Ruto regime to appeal that to appeal against the ruling on the deployment of police to Haiti. It is our hope that all parties shall respect the independence of the judiciary and that foreign interests will keep off our national affairs. As Mio remains on the way forward, as Mio remains extremely disturbed by the worsening cost of living, the ever rising and reckless taxes by Sakayo, the collapsing national currency, the chaos in the education sector, the tribalism in public service, and the return of mega corruption. The summit has committed to seek other ways and means to press the regime to listen to the cries of the people. The litigation will only be one such avenue. Other ways are being worked on, whose ultimate goal is to force the regime to be sensitive to the tribulations of the people and to enable the people to take sh such steps as they may deem necessary, remembering that they have the residual power and sovereignty for the people to be able to rid themselves of this yoke put by the regime. Just like the donkey spoke to Balaam in the Bible, the donkey is now telling Zakayo, enough is enough. We thank you.